I spent a couple of weeks traveling around Mexico and out of all the places that I've seen, Oaxaca City was the one that surprised me the most. I didn't expect much from this place. Um, to be honest, I've never even heard about it before coming here. But Oaxaca City did end up making the biggest impression on me. And if I had to describe Oaxaca City in two words, I would say Mexican fairy tale. I truly, truly believe that if more people would travel here, the general opinion of Mexico would be very different. Yo guys, what is up? I hope you're all doing great. We made it to Oaxaca City, the capital of Oaxaca State. We came here on an overnight bus. I feel like I've mentioned it at least five times in my Puerto Escondido vlog, but you know, I was a little curious of what a night bus experience is going to be like in Mexico. Oaxaca City is the capital and also the biggest city in Oaxaca State and it's mainly known for three things. The first thing is food. Oaxaca City is often referred to as the food capital of Mexico and you can find plenty of very affordable street food options here but also a lot of interesting and modern fine dining restaurants. The second thing is very vibrant art scene. There are plenty of art galleries here and a lot of street art and basically this whole city looks like one big piece of art because it's so beautiful and so colorful and the third thing is mezcal a very traditional alcohol to that region made from agava leaves and a very popular activity to do here is mezcal tasting or just going to a bar and getting some mezcal so we made it to oaxaca uh, this is a rooftop of our hostel I look like someone who just spent 10 hours in a bus at night, so don't mind me. Yeah, so far it looks pretty interesting. It definitely looks much smaller than Mexico City, which makes sense because the population is only like 300,000, 400,000, something like that. And Mexico City was more than 20 million. Obviously, Mexico has a reputation of being not the safest place or at least that's what some people think i mean it's a, it's a longer discussion obviously i'm not claiming that mexico is the safest place on the planet but so far our experience has been absolutely amazing we have not experienced anything bad anyways the night bus was great very modern very clean everything was like really well organized you get on the bus you show your passport you have a place uh, and a funny thing that they did is that once we all sat down at the bus, they came in with a camera and filmed everyone's faces and they, you know, even asked you to like remove your masks to be able to like properly film your face, I guess for safety. So right now it's about 12 in the afternoon and the first stop on our journey here in Oaxaca uh, is going to be a camera store because unfortunately I have been vlogging on my iPhone for the past week because my camera broke which is a little tragedy when you are a vlogger so and there was no camera shops in Puerto Escondido so I am hoping that I can fix it here we went to two different camera repair places and unfortunately none of them could fix my camera which means that I am in Mexico and I don't have a camera uh, I am obviously really sad right now I am even considering buying a new camera but I don't think I can get it here at first I wasn't sure if I should put that part in my vlog because you know who cares about my camera right but then I decided that I do want to share that because I feel like it shows a very accurate picture of what travel is really like whenever you travel there will most likely always be something that goes wrong you're in a foreign country you're on a move and you're tired after a 10 hour bus drive and in these moments it's important to remember that traveling might be fun but it's far from easy and very far from from the romanticized image of travel we are so used to seeing on social media. My first impression of Oaxaca City is that this city is so colorful. As you can see, every single building is painted in different colors. I mean, just look at this. Look at these colors. Colors everywhere. 
So I was a bit of a Debbie Downer for a while that day, but then as we walked around and explored the city and saw some of the most famous landmarks like Zocalo Square and Church of Santo Domingo, my mood did get better because I mean, just look at that city. I was absolutely amazed by how beautiful it is and how clean and how well maintained everything was. One problem that I have with Volga City is that it's freaking beautiful wherever you go. Literally every single street I look at, I'm like, I want to go down this street because it's beautiful and colorful. Great example right behind me. Great example also there and also there. I mean, it's freaking beautiful. I've been here for a couple of hours and I'm like, I can already very highly recommend this place to anyone coming to Mexico. Oaxaca City is what you imagine Mexico to be. If you wouldn't come to Mexico and you just close your eyes and you think like Mexico, Mata, why are you laughing? That's Oaxaca City. We just ordered some street food quesadillas that they're making right here. I'm excited to try it because I had no freaking idea what I just ordered. Is it sweet? Is it salty? Nobody knows, but we'll find out in a sec. But uno, do diez y lo enseñas. Ooh, delicious. Yes. Ahí lo tienes, yes. After that first day, I was already totally convinced that if anyone would ever tell me that they're traveling to Mexico, but they only have time to see one place and they would ask me for advice, I would tell them, go and see Oaxaca City. Because it's not only one of the most beautiful places I've seen in Mexico so far, but it's also one of the most beautiful places I've seen in general in my entire life. So we got a little tired after walking around and eating that street food and we decided that it's enough of activities for today. We deserved some rest. And yeah, the hostel where we're staying has a very nice rooftop. So we're just lying down here, chilling, researching where to go next. To be honest, I feel like whenever I vlog, I don't really show you <laughs> this part of traveling, which is basically lying down and not doing anything. Well, because it's not very exciting to see me lying down, but that the truth is that if you're traveling for extended amount of time, you spend a lot of time just chillaxing places, sitting down, lying down, researching. So that's why I feel like it's extra important for hostels or hotels to have like good relaxing areas. It's also very hot here. To be honest, it's crazy how much weather changes here in Mexico. When we arrived this morning, it was like 14 degrees and it, it was quite cold. Like all the locals were wearing, you know, like long pants and like puffer jackets, puffer jackets, is that how you call it? Down, like whatever, winter jackets. Um, yeah, now it's freaking summer. Now I bet it's like 30 degrees. I'm not exaggerating. I'm wearing long pants, but it's very unnecessary. I've been boiling the whole day. Today is day two in Oaxaca City and we are starting this day a little late. It is no idea, but I'm guessing 1 p.m. We kind of got to the stage of our travel where we've been traveling for like one and a half week and we're slowing down. I mean, not that we're that fast before, but um, yeah, we're just more okay with chilling and taking it slow. This whole morning, we basically did what you saw us doing yesterday, meaning lying on that thing on the rooftop. But you know, the interesting thing is that when you're traveling in hostels, hostels, did I say it weird? Anyways, there are a lot of people doing the same thing. A lot of people are just chilling, you know? There are people sitting there working, painting. And that's an interesting thing about hostels, that you meet people that travel in a different way. People travel slower, people travel for a long time. We're only here for three weeks and that's like short compared to majority of people we meet at hostels. So as much as I love hotels, good hotels, it's also fun to be in hostels and just like meet people who live in a different way to majority of people you meet in your like normal everyday life. So we're 
we're done at the coffee shop it only took us two hours but we came up with a, a great plan a great game plan of what we we're gonna do in yucatan i'm not gonna tell you it's gonna be a surprise <laughs> and now the plan is to go to the oldest neighborhood of oaxaca city which i don't know how to pronounce surprise surprise but to my defense i'll put the name on the screen and i mean to, like, try to pronounce it so Suchimilco, sorry i tried my best is the oldest neighborhood in all of oaxaca city and it's located only about 15 to 20 minute walk from the center the area is full of colorful houses and street art and it does have a pretty different feeling to it you almost feel like you're in a village and it's way more calm and peaceful and it's definitely a place that you cannot miss if you're in Oaxaca City. So after having a slightly disgusting dinner, accidentally having a slightly disgusting dinner yesterday. <laughs> I wanted to show you the disgusting food we're having for dinner. And we already made a plan that tomorrow we'll go to the market and get ourselves some food and we'll actually make food. By make food, I mean we'll, we're gonna get fruits <laughs> and bread and cheese. But that's like best food ever. We decided that we'll go to the supermarket today and get some stuff and make our own food. By stuff, we mean cheese and bread and tomatoes. And we're actually very excited about that. We accidentally had not a very good dinner yesterday. We wanted to go to Subway, yes, I know, but uh, if you've seen my other vlogs, you know that I have a very bad Subway addiction. I'm not proud of it, but it is what it is. Um, but we couldn't find it, so we end up with some gross, gross food. Anyways, long story short, we're going to a supermarket. Ooh, this is what we want. We found this really nice bakery. We're getting some bread with our cheese and I'm so excited. Like I'm literally super excited for this meal. I wonder if you can get, I lived in Shanghai here. I decided to go for a walk around the city and try to film a little bit with my camera. I think that it is working when I'm filming on Zoom. At least I hope it is. Oh my God, just like walking around the city, I'm just absolutely amazed. The more time I spend in Mexico, the more I love this country. It's just, I mean, it's so beautiful. I truly, truly believe that if more people would travel here, the general opinion of Mexico would be very different. I mean, this country just keeps surprising me again and again. It's just full of colors, full of life, full of very nice and kind people. I don't want to be ignorant and say that Mexico, all of Mexico is perfectly safe. But the truth is that I do think that a lot of people think that safety wise Mexico is much worse than it actually is I mean I'm alone right now I'm walking around with my camera and it's okay as far as I know there's also a very big difference here in Oaxaca City and in Mexico in general between the day and night what we've been told at our hostel is that walking around during the day is perfectly fine and we have been doing that so far both here in Mexico City you know with our phones with cameras but if you go out during the night the situation can be very different so we've been advised to always take taxis whenever we go out at night when it's dark outside. Honestly, this is why we are alive. To go to places like this and watch people I mean, this is life, like this is literally life.